Yours is coming. There's somebody looking at me there. It's your time. It's your season. By this week. And uh, I want to thank you and bless God for each and every one of you. So you be the glory and honor. Of course, and indeed, our usual time of service is from every Saturday. Sorry. Sundays from 9 o'clock in the morning to 11.30. And the second service is from 12 noon to 2 p.m. And of course, and indeed, the last but not the list of the services, the third one from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we keep to time. We want to thank God for those of you that are standing. Of course, and indeed, God is going to provide. And God has provided a bigger and a, and a better place. To him be the glory, to him be the honor. And it's good to say this. And um, next week is the Passover, remember? And it uh, is exactly the Passover of the scriptures as well. So it is a prophetic Passover. But well, thank God for the Wednesday. It has been fantastic, like today. And those of you there at office, some come from the offices and spend just two hours and they're back to base. Join us next week, Wednesday. We are praying about arrow versus arrow. Satan has arrow, but thank God, there's an arrow of God. And to him be the glory, to him be the honor, and to him be the adoration. Choir, as I'm getting ready to get on choir, and before so, the choir will come in as soon as, but I'm hearing as I come <coughs> before you, O oh Lord, I hope it is, just as I am, let your will be done. But quiet, you can sing that which you have planned, and God bless you. And uh, it is well. All right. I come before you. sanctuary, all of them that has gathered against us, against you, they have fallen for our sake. That is the scripture. I can see them. I can see them. In their meeting, the, the, the angels of God have released arrows of God against them. And they gather against you in your office, against your children. There is somebody there. Your child, every spiritual manipulation has ended. Concerning your children, concerning your first son, and there's a lady there, you, you are asking me to call your case. But I have said that it is well with you. Your womb shall carry children. I cancel breast cancer, left breast. My father, my all, that arrow has backfired. It is well with you. There's somebody there, that bleeding, that has refused to stop. 
it is, I arrest it using a blood above every other blood. God bless you. And it is well. And uh, I give God the glory. I give God the honor. And I'm sure some of you are wondering why the choir is not there. The choir has been there. And uh, we have some, um, the man playing the organ is, is the man they call in charge of the studio. He's uh, a bishop in the making. God bless you. Now, as we get ready, I want us to share something. I want each and every one of you to get ready uh, for this hour and this season. Today, I have been speaking about the end time, and I am continuing to teach on that end time. But today, I am led to teach on something that may benefit you and me. I don't know who I am speaking to. Today, I am led to share it. And what I am going to share is going to help you one way or the other. We want to talk, as it were, on uh, the summer day uh, this evening. I want to speak about, I want, it is a message that we all need, including me. The end time is not just for, it's for every person. But today I want to talk about what do you do? So if you need a topic and you need it, of course, what do, me, what do I do, including me? What do we do to inherit eternal life? What do we do to inherit eternal life? Of course, like we said this coming Friday, I mean, this coming Wednesday, we are going to deal about arrows, and we are going to ever write and decree prophetically anyone that has ever used arrow against you. That is for this coming Wednesday. Next week. It's, it's usually 10 to 12. We keep to time because people come from their offices. Today it was glorious. But next week, Wednesday, is going to be, and this week, Sunday as well, I'm going to a release prophetically on those concerning about arrows. But today, while we are fighting the battle of life, we equally need to fight a very important battle, the battle of eternity. While you are in this world, it's not only just to be blessed or to achieve the ordination of God for your life. No, that is not why we are just in this world. This world is like a pilgrimage. It's like a school of life. And some people will pass. And God, and God himself will say, well done, my, my daughter. Well done, my son. And some will end up in hellfire. And Satan will say, have you joined us? Because that is the truth of the matter. Because there's a place for Satan. It's hell. So God will tell you, well done, my beloved son. But if you fail, and which... Are rejected. But if you choose to fail, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you choose to fail, you, Satan will tell you, oh, have you joined us? Oh, have you joined us? Because he knows that there is nothing well done in heaven. So, but today, I want to talk about how do we, ex how can we, as it were, inherit eternity? Because eternity is key. And tell me, even though we don't preach it these days. But that is why you are a Christian. You don't need to be, if you want to, everybody can be rich. You can even hate God and still be rich. You, you can even be enemy of God and still be rich. Be, because Satan can bless you. But it will end up somewhere that is hellfire. However, like Paul says, my wish is that you will be blessed in, on earth and still be in the presence of God all the days of your life. And that is called eternity. Eternity, according to Christian theology, is called like spiritual existence after death. The spiritual authority understands eternity to be your existence after death. But there is a story in Mark 10 I'm going to read. But I'm going to take it for this week. Or probably next. But for this week, I'm going to that's how I'm going to handle it. And I'm sure because it blessed me, it will bless you. From Mark 10, sir. Mark 10 from verse 17. And until I ask you to stop, sir. If you don't mind. I'm with you. Mark 10 from verse 17. Yes, sir. 
And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Okay. Go ahead. And Jesus said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but God. Uh -huh. That is God. Uh -huh. Thou knowest the commandments. Uh -huh. Do not commit adultery. Uh -huh. Do not kill. Uh -huh. Do not steal. Uh -huh. Do not bear false witness. Uh -huh. Defraud not. Uh -huh. Honor thy father and mother. Uh -huh. And he answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Master, uh -huh. all these have I observed from my youth. Uh -huh. And Jesus, beholding him, uh -huh. loved him, uh -huh. and said unto him, uh -huh. One thing thou lackest, yes. go thy way, uh -huh. sell whatsoever thou hast, uh -huh. and give to the poor, uh -huh. and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Uh -huh. And come, take up the cross, uh -huh. and follow me. Uh -huh. And he was sad at that saying, uh -huh. and went away grieved, okay. for he had great possessions. Okay. And Jesus looked at, around about uh -huh. and said unto his disciples, uh -huh. How hardly shall they that have riches uh -huh. enter into the kingdom of God? I want to stop there. Because even the disciples were shocked by, by saying, But I want to begin, follow me. The message today is, What do we do to inherit eternal life? I'm speaking for, from the scripture. It's not theory. It's not theology. Number one thing that I discovered for us to inherit eternal life is that the man said, good master. If you want, the servant, I mean, this young guy, this rich guy, rich and righteous. So somebody can be rich and be righteous. Number one, I want you to get there it's into your head. You can be rich and there are, some, there are people who are rich in this world and they are righteous. They are, I'm not talking of the fake ones who carry Bible. And they are deacon or deaconesses. And they are carrying Bible. No, 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 no. And the, what they preach is different from the life they live. This man's life is correct. As according to the scripture. So, but today, I want to begin from, please follow me, follow me, and follow me well. Now, one way to inherit eternal life, number one, is the for me, the part A of it is that you self, if you think you are good in the eyes of the world, it's not enough to inherit eternal life. So if some of you think that by some people we, we use voodoo, get money, they are against God, and they do all kind of life, they are into a court, they are into one thing or the other. They join secret and unsecret societies in order to make it. And they now begin to spend money building churches, helping the poor. There is nothing wrong there. Helping widows. There, there is nothing wrong there. It's good. But because it is not enough. Because what you call good before man may not is like a filthy rat. Before God. That's why Jesus Christ told the guy, nobody can be good. As long as you have flesh. Why? Because there's nothing good about flesh. If you're not tied up, if you watch. But let me come from the aspect of, of the teaching. When it says that one way to inherit internal life is that you must be obedient to the word of God. How? This man was obedient to the word of God. One, well, you must be obedient. Because these days, I'm coming from a, a teaching. This is part one of it. The foundation of to inherit internal life. The foundation. Is that you must be you must allow your life and yourself to the word of God. Number one, it is a principle. I'm not saying it is only, it is the foundation to inherit internal life. Then by the but for today, I want to talk on by the foundation. Psalm 11, verse 3. He said, if your foundation is wrong, you there's nothing you can do to please God. 
You can never please God. So in this instance, as Christians, me and you, for us to inherit eternal life, the foundation, the key, the principle, the bottom line of it is that you must obey the word of God. Exodus 20. Exodus 21 to 17 details the Ten Commandments. It is very important for everybody to know that Ten Commandments, what God has said, but it's not for the Old Testament. It's for both the, the, there is nothing like old on you though. It's for every human being. Yes, sir. Exodus chapter 20 from verse 1. Yes. And God spake all this word, saying, yes. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Okay, if you go out through that because of time, from that Exodus 20, you will get a picture of Ten Commandments, my brother and my sister. And you must have a line to Ten Commandments. Don't follow this teaching that Jesus Christ has fulfilled the law. So therefore, you, we are not under the law. You are my brother and sister. If Jesus can fulfill the law, you can fulfill the law through the incubation of the Holy Spirit. Not that the law is the law has, is not the, uh, the realm of grace. So you can do anything. You can kill somebody and ask God for mercy because it is grace. You can willingly sin. That is a sin unto death. Of course and indeed, Jesus Christ came to fulfill the law, but he did not abolish the law. Matthew 5.17. Matthew 5, 17. Matthew 5, 17. Matthew 5, 17. Matthew 5, 17. Yes. I read. He said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law uh -huh. or the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. Uh -huh. And he fulfilled the law. And this young man fulfilled the law <laughs> in the time of Christ. He fulfilled the law. He was able to keep the law. And Jesus Christ, that's why Jesus Christ was shocked. He said, what? What? He said, from my youth, many people, you can fulfill this law. So it is not impossible not to live, not to kill, not to steal, not to take your neighbor's wife. If you read it, it's a law. What guides every society? Romans 13, 31. Paul was talking something about that. Because now, agents of that place are teaching that you don't need, you are, you are free to do anything. License to live anyhow. License to live in sin. License to do for one night in the church. And that is why people are carrying Bible and preaching grace. I'm telling you grace. Grace. And you will willingly sin. And we choose that. Romans 3.31, yes. Romans 3.31, yes. Romans 3.31. Yes, sir. I read it. Yes. Say, Do we then make void the law uh -huh. through faith? Go ahead. God forbid. Uh -huh. Yeah, we establish the law. Go ahead. Say, say that. Say it again. Say, do we then make uh -huh. void the law through faith? Uh -huh. God forbid. Uh -huh. Yeah, we establish the because law. You cannot let fulfill the law in this our age and time. Through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. But that does not mean that the law is no longer operative. Go to Romans 10. Probably it will bring it up well more. I'm trying to teach that if you want to inherit eternal life, if you want to go to heaven, you looking at me there. Every person desires to go to heaven. Even thieves. Even men, women, even witches. They desire to go to heaven. Every person wants to be in the presence of God. Job, in the book of Job, Job 1, 6, Satan even desire the presence of God. But I'm talking about eternity, not the presence of God. Now, the, I'm not talking about the dynamic, the, the, the dynamic nature as we live on the, on the earth. No, 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 no. I'm talking in eternity, I have to inherit it. So Paul was just Romans 10, 4. Yeah, Romans 10 verse 4. Yeah. 
He said, for Christ is the end of the law uh -huh. for righteousness. Good to everyone that believeth. Uh -huh. He said, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Not the end of the law that Christ is for righteousness. It means that to live in right standing with God. Not to be free from every kind of... He said, Christ... Please read this again. Romans 10 verse 4. Yes. For Christ is the end of the law uh -huh. for righteousness. For righteousness. Not the end of the law. For that he has killed all the law. That's why people, they will quote this scripture and say Christ is the end of the law. Christ is the end of the law means that Christ has fulfilled the law. We in right standing with God. Therefore, we can kill into that which I'm coming. But before then, Galatians 3. From verse 24. Galatians 3. From verse 24. Galatians 3 from verse 24. Yes sir. He said, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. Go ahead. To bring us unto Christ. Go ahead. That we might be justified by faith. Aha. Uh -huh. But after that faith is. Uh -huh. By that you might be justified by faith. So the fulfillment of law. On, on the realm of righteousness. Is through faith. Having that faith, which I'm going to come, that we can fulfill the law through faith. Once we have that faith that Jesus died for us, and we kill him into that understanding, so that it becomes a link to our right standing with God. It doesn't mean that every law has been canceled, but conclude this. Sir. He said, but after that, the, that faith is come, Go ahead. we are no longer under a school master. Go ahead. For ye are all the children of God Go ahead. by faith uh -huh. in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ uh -huh. are put on Christ. Uh -huh. There is therefore neither Jew nor Greek. Uh -huh. There is neither born nor free. Uh -huh. There is neither male nor female. Uh -huh. For ye are all one in uh -huh. Christ Jesus. Okay. Go, go ahead, up to 29. Yes, I will do it. And if ye be Christ, uh -huh. then are ye Abraham's seeds, uh -huh. and heirs according to the promise. So what does scripture mean that we are linked, as it were? That does not mean the Ten Commandments has ended in your life. It doesn't mean because grace came, no more Ten Commandments. No. But why, why is it necessary for us? Like if you know... From the beginning, we talked about no, no person can be good because there's nothing in flesh that will make you inherit eternal life. No work of flesh will make you inherit eternal life because everything flesh, you need to modify the deeds of the flesh. Everybody that has flesh can never ever use flesh to actualize. What God has ordained for him. Inside flesh, Galatians 5, every flesh is a manifestation of this. Every flesh. For it takes the Spirit of God and the Bible and your prayer life and the kind of lifestyle that you live to modify the deeds of the flesh. But I want us to show why you cannot on your own, why you need the Holy Spirit for you to live, to inherit the eternal life. So that you have your foundation in Jesus Christ. So that will make you fulfill the law to the extent of the, of the Spirit of God in you. Because it is only the Spirit of God that can make us deal with the work of flesh that will ever hinder us. What are the works of flesh? Galatians 5, 19. And we think? Galatians 5 from verse 19. Yes. Now, the works of the flesh uh -huh. are manifest, Good. which are these, uh -huh. adultery, adultery, fornication, go ahead. uncleanness, go ahead. lasciviousness, go ahead. idolatry, go ahead. witchcraft, uh -huh. hatred, uh -huh. variance, uh -huh. emulations, go ahead. wrath, go ahead. strife, go ahead. seditions, uh -huh. heresies, mm -hmm. envies, murders, go ahead. drunkenness, go ahead. revelings, uh -huh. and such like. Uh -huh. Of the which I tell you before, uh -huh. as I have also told you in time past, uh -huh. that they which do such things uh -huh. shall not inherit the kingdom of God. He said, They who do, they will never inherit the kingdom of God. Because this is what he said, the Bible calls it the works of the flesh. And we have flesh. I have flesh. There are things about me I don't even like at times. But he said, That's why. You can only inherit internal 
the kingdom of God, there was the revelation I had. Why did I begin to teach on the end times? I got the revelation. I got it in Israel. I called my wife. I said, look, I had a revelation about the end times. I came back. I shared it and I shared it in the church. But I was questioning God. How can I know the time? God now, and I dreamt again, and he gave me a time, a season. But gave me Romans 4, 8. Ah, when I woke up, I opened to Romans 4, 8. What God was trying to tell me, the heaven I, I and Jesus sanctuary members are going to, I and my family, I and my, all those who are born again, the heaven that we are going to is by his grace. It's only by his grace. But just because of time, because they, was, they say I have about 20 more minutes. I need to send this one home. John 17, 2 to 3. That's why the Bible was talking in John 17, 3 to 8. That God can give us eternal life through his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way, my brother. Don't deceive yourself. Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Are you Hindu? All these group of people, they watch. Jesus is the only way. He is one to give you spirit. That's why Christianity, as if you follow the Christianity religion, you cannot hurt a fly. You can, because he said, he talked about the works of the flesh. I'm with you. John 17. 2 to 3, sir. 2 to 3. Yes, sir. He said, John 17 from verse 2. As thou hast given him power uh -huh. over all flesh, uh -huh. that he should give eternal life uh -huh. to as many as thou hast given him. He will give eternal life. So eternal life is a gift. It's a gift. Go to Romans, just because of time. Romans 4, 5. God used that scripture to teach me that eternal life he has given me. It's a gift. And you will know if you are going to heaven. If you know if you are going to hell, you will know. You don't need to guess. You don't say, I'm not sure. You, if you pass exams, you know. If you fail, you know. Uh -uh. If you ask that on five questions and you don't, you know, only four. You have failed the exam. So you don't need any person to, you don't need to panic. As it were. When the result is out. You don't need to shake. I'm with you as we close. I'm with you. Romans 4, verse 5. Yes. But to him that walketh not, uh -huh. but believeth on him that justified the ungodly, uh -huh. his faith is counted for righteousness. His faith is counted for righteousness, yes. Even as David also described the... I'm okay. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. The Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. And Romans 3, 23. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. And Romans 6, 23, sir. And with Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. Yes. For by grace are ye saved uh -huh. through faith. Through faith. And that, uh, that's not of yourself. Uh -huh. It is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. Not of works. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. Exactly. But however, you must be worthy in order to be in that realm. Not of works. And you will be seen. And say it's not of Of course, God knows those who are genuine. Finally, finally, Romans 6, 23, sir. I'm with you. Romans 6, 23. Yes, sir. For the wages of sin uh -huh. is death. Uh -huh. But the gift of God uh -huh. is eternal life. The gift of God is eternal life. Through so, Jesus Christ. When, when I saw that scripture in the dream, so what God was telling me, a member of Jesus Christ, who are serious, not those looking for signs and wonders, they will get it. But those, because there are, if you come to a church, it's either you look for sign and wonder and end up in hellfire. Because everybody can get sign and wonder. Jesus sat and gives signs and wonders. So it's not only God. But the bottom line is, where will you be on the last day? My prayer and my wish is this for each and every one of you. Just as God delivered me and made a pathway for me unto his throne of grace, he will, make, he will deliver you and make a pathway for you. However, just as I was willing, will you be willing? That is the bottom line. And that is where I stop for today. By his grace, I'm going to talk much more about other things.
how you can inherit eternal life from this scripture. From this scripture, how you can inherit heaven, how you cannot miss it by the end of the day. Because when people die, they don't die like fowl or like goat. They end up somewhere. Where will you end up? Where will you be? Will you be in the presence of God forever? Or will you be in the dwelling of evil forever? The world is a temporary place. Heaven is permanent. The world is a school. You are that path and you are upgraded or you fail and you are downgraded. Just as they upgrade, upgrade in different services. So also in the realm of God, you either you are upgraded to heaven or you descend to hell. It's the same, the, the, I, I, I call it uh, upgrading backwardly. That to descend. And my prayer is that you should not descend. You should ascend. Everybody should ascend. Because you are made in the image of God after his likeness. May God prosper you. May God, there's somebody there, that evil mark. The mark of shame and failure. Anywhere they have used urine. Either animal own or that of human being. To cause you to bring shame in your ministry. I cancel it. I nullify it. Anything that has been making you to cry will not make you cry again all the days of your life. May God keep you. May God prosper you. May he be with you and bless you. All right? I'm sure the lines are off. have been open since and I hope all is well. Now, make sure you are part of the service for Sunday. It's going to be glorious. And make sure you, just those of you who are at the borderline, Jesus Sanctuary, we are going to heaven. Every member of Jesus' sanctuary. God has removed all those this year. Some people in Nigeria that he didn't want. I knew they were, they were agents. Of course I knew. I knew. All the pretenses, all the things they were doing to impress me, they were fake. But God removed them. Because I knew. They did everything to influence me. You can't influence me. You can't buy me. You don't bother on the face of the earth. No gift can change me because I don't have needs. <laughs> I only God can meet my need. No human being can meet my need. Only God. And the need of God I want is not for myself. It's for the kingdom of God. That is the truth of the matter. That is the bottom line. And that is the gist of the matter. But however, because I'm sure I don't know what's going on with the time now. We're having, I'm sure, with the hope it is well. Uh, may God prosper. There's somebody there looking at me. There's a scripture that I want you to, to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a scripture. Somebody open to um, Isaiah 60. This scripture came to me over and over. Isaiah 60 from verses 1 and 2. Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. The book of Isaiah 60. I say, Arise and shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. He said, So I read Isaiah, take Isaiah from 1 and read it up to verse 5. Claim it. Isaiah 60, please, verses 1 to 5. Uh, the book of Isaiah. And Numbers, I was studying these numbers. Okay, there is, there is a color I didn't mind because I needed to use my time very well. Uh, there's, there's numbers six, please. Yes, a color from Germany. I will come back to you. Please, sir, don't be. Uh, number six, please. Use, read from verse, 20, from verse 24 to 27. Use it to pray. Number six. Somebody there and claim it and does it. Okay, uh, is that Gipko from from uh, Italy? How are you? Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. I'm with you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Papa. Who? Hmm? Thank you for prayer. Amen. Amen. Give a half. 
but i know <laughs> in uh, english okay the okay sorry uh, well which so what can you speak italy okay but uh, prayer for me uh, for work no i i will pray for you for you to have called at all may god hear your okay. prayer may god hear okay. your cry in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ in blessing he will bless you in multiplying god will multiply you he will make a way for you where there seems to be no way the jesus that touched me will not only touch you it will touch your children it will touch your family it will touch your business in jesus name i have prayed all right I, i'm sure uh, my viewers probably the phone was on and uh, I've just discovered it was on, and that's why probably it, it, it affected the lines. I'm sorry about that. We, we came in quite early. Satan tried and fought us, but we took underground. I changed course. There was somebody looking at me. I changed course, and you will change course, and Satan will fail in your life. All right, Faith from London. How are you, Faith? I'm fine, sir. Bless you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I just tuned into the TV, sir. So I'm listening to you, sir. And um, I love the way you're preaching. God bless you, sir. Amen, ma. Yes, yes sir. So that I just wanted to um, just say a prayer for me. That I, I use as a pray. point of contact to all my viewers. Let the Spirit of God that has come upon you, that Spirit will order your steps. Amen. Your prayer life will change. That whatever you decree according to the will of God, it will come to yes, pass. Lord. In Jesus' name. Yeah, all right. God bless you, man. All Thank right. You uh, God bless you. It is a teaching. I'm going to continue. Those of you out there, and um, we thank God for that. Look, that I want everybody because already Jesus sanctuary, all the workers, those who are living are right, those who are in right standing with God, God has revealed. Because heaven is my is our destination. So if you know you are you are conscious of heaven. But like I said, you must be blessed here and you can still make heaven. The rich man was blessed. Yet, he fulfilled the law that Jesus Christ said, wow, wow, I can't believe it. I can't. A man born of a woman, but he failed a test. And that is where I will begin from tomorrow. Some of you, your wealth may hinder you. And that is that that would be a disastrous spiritually speaking. Okay, Destiny from London. How are you, ma? Destiny. Hello, Pastor Uzo. Yes, how Please are you? Pray for me and my education. How old are you? Twelve. Do your do your do, uh, do your father and, uh, and your mother do they go to church? Yes. Good. And you join them always? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, destiny. Father, I use it as a point of contact. My Lord and my God, every child yes. under the influence of my voice, you will Psalm 119 verse 91, you will know more than your teachers in the Amen. mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. First John 47 verse 7, my Lord and my God, I pray that your name shall be greater than that of your parents. In Jesus' Amen. name, I pray. All right? Amen. Always be always be a good boy. Don't join any group so that you can excel well and study to, to shine in Jesus' name. All right? John from Glasgow, how are you? Hello. Now? Yeah, John, I'm with you. Hello. Yeah. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Fine. Fine, John. Right, fine. Uh, John, I would just like to, uh, my name is John. I would like to ask you, sir, is the uh, key Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is he, uh, is he the father or is he the son or is he the God? Uh, Jesus Christ is everything. Is all what you have said. No, no, no. You can only have one God or one, you know, one spirit or one. You, you can't have everything. Okay. That means according to you. And you have a right to believe. Some people don't believe in God, and they have a right to be, not to believe in God. No, 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 sir, no, sir. I believe in God, but oh. I want to know, is Jesus Christ God, 
all of the Jesus Christ have a father who is I God said, to the my, I, you know, I'm not into this. I said you have a right to believe anything. What I believe is that Jesus is Father, is Son, is God, is my Lord, is my Savior, is everything uh, for me. That is your business, John. So anything you want to believe about him, believe, you can even say that Jesus is not there. That's your business. And you have a right, my brother. He is a free world. But by the, by the end, of the day, the bottom line is that no person can fool himself over God. Jesus is the Son of God. God bless you, sir. Thanks a lot from calling in, uh, John from Glasgow. Amos from Scotland, how are you? Amos. I'm doing fine, sir. Thank you. I'm with you. Good evening. I'm with you, sir. Yes, please. I would like the inter interpretation of this. Uh, actually, I was coming from work on one night. Yes. And I saw uh, two doves, pure white. They just came to my window. How? Oh, is it in the dream? No, not in the dream. Physically. Two doves. Pure white. I was looking at them. Two of them. Okay. Doves. Doves, yes. Uh, it's not a dream. So It's I not can't... a dream. It's uh, not a dream. I don't I don't know the type of the the type of message that is because that very night I was praying. Uh, okay. I was praying that very night. What were you praying? I was praying concerning uh, moving closer to to be able to move closer to God and to be able to to move far far from every oppression to mm. be. The, yes. but if you will, like, if you will ask me in my own little way, I believe okay. that I believe that God is trying to tell you I'm close, so there's okay. no need. To, is I'm close, so you open up yourself to you create more time for me. Because he's, he's, he's ever there for me yes. and for you. It's we that are far from God. God is ever there through his work, through his protection, through the, his creation. He's everywhere. It's for us to open up. So you get deeper into him and you will get through. And you will be Amen. closer. I think Amen. so. In Jesus' name. Amos. All right. In fact, read Amos 3. 3. He said, shall two uh, agree? So once you agree, Jimmy from London, sir. How are you, Jimmy? I'll read Jimmy or Jimmy. How are you? Yeah, good evening, sir. It's Jenny, not Jimmy. Ah, okay. Good, uh, yes, I'm with you, ma. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm um, with you. Sir, uh, please, I had a dream last night. I saw myself picking ripe tomatoes, pepper. I don't understand the meaning. You have your picking what? I was picking ripe tomatoes and pepper. And pepper. Yeah. Uh, well, you, I think you, uh, uh, you need to pray more. Hardship is not good for you. Reject hardship in Jesus' name. Hardship. Hardship, oh. yeah. Or rejected. Uh, that is w what I told you now, my sister. Which church do you go to? I'm an Anglican. Uh -huh. Do you pray? Yes, I pray. Yeah, no, I believe I may be very wrong. Any person in London, in Europe, in America, in Anglican or Catholic, they, and you are not in FAC or the on the evangelical aspect of those uh, of those denominations, forget it, forget it. Uh, and secondly, uh, I I need a prayer point. Some people gang up against me, and they've been lying against me. Well, that is that, that. I think I told you about hardship. Now. Send some prayer points now through email, and we'll send you some. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll okay, send sir. you some. It's free of charge, of course. God bless you, man. All right. Tell me from Manchester. You got to run. How are you, man? Good evening, sir. Yeah, I'm with you. God man. bless you, sir. Amen. Yeah, I just want to bless God for your for the good work you are doing, Amen. sir. I want to bless God. I want to thank you. Um, even for, for your wife, for Jesus Sanctuary, is here to stay. And I thank you for what you have been preaching, all what the truth that you have been saying, that you have been preaching to us, you and your wife. I just want to say thank you and bless the name of God for you and for everybody and all the workers in Jesus Sanctuary. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You have given me a million pounds. Thank you a lot. That, that, that will justify all what the workers are doing. Some people... Coming here some hours ahead of time. God bless you. Just to make sure we are through. 
Matilda from soft. Is it sorry? Sorry. Hello? Matilda and the last caller. Hello? Hello? All right, I'm sorry. I've looked, look, look. I got to say I'm sorry. I was the cause of that no calling. My phones were on, and that affected the call. It's my phone. I just discovered it. And that's why I was bending to off it. The, the Spirit of God prompted me to know it was my phone. So I'm very sorry about that, those of you that I for tomorrow I will create more time for people to call in to as it were compensate for the error I made today. You know, that's why hurry, 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 hurry in everything is not good. But thank God for you. Thank God for all my viewers. So there is somebody that you won't die in your sleep. The enemy has projected but you will not die. It is well with you. It is well with your family and your children and your beloved ones. And God will make a way where there seems to be no way at all. There is somebody there. God will make a way. And if your time, be part of the service, it will help you a lot. And many people are being blessed. And I wish you should be there. Above all, make sure you put your name I know among those going to heaven, every member of Jesus Christ that I join me must go to heaven. It is clear. God told me. It is clear. And that is why I answered the call. May you not miss it. Don't follow vain disputation. I don't have time for whether Jesus is God or not God. I will tell you, believe anything you want. I don't have that precious time. I will use to talk what is. Some people say there's no God. That is the headache. If you don't believe, fine. If you believe, fine. But uh, on the last day, you have yourself to blame. May God keep you and prosper you. Bye-bye.